hello dear hello everyone i am here in this in this video i am going to teach you about the simulation of parallel plate using parallel plate capacitor using the finite element method that is software this is femm 4.2 package that is finite element method magnetics 4.2 which is which you can which is a, you can download that as a student version in the uh, in the internet itself it is freely available and this simulation soft stuff software will help us to analyze uh, to understand and analyze the uh, characteristics of of electric field safety potential lines uh, capacitance and, and even and to some to the extent of magnetostatics also so you can simulate electrostatics and magnetostatic problems using this tool and you can get a pictorial understanding about what you are studying in theory and you'll get an in-depth analysis of the performance of various electrical devices those um the influence of electrical fields of very on various electrical devices so this is uh, now okay this is in this session we are going to i'm going to teach you about the simulation of a parallel plate capacitor and of course there are many many more combinations of things we can do it so because it's just an introduction i'm going to teach you about the only about the parallel plate capacitor so other things so we will learn why while uh, particular classes are going okay so in this what we are going to do here is so what what we are going to do is we are going to open the fmm package so type the fmm here fmm 4.2 is coming and then select it now we get a screen like this so click click the um new button new button so to open to create a new project and uh, here you have to select which type of problem you want so here you see there are four kinds of problems you can simulate uh, using this fmm 4.2 magnetostatic magnetics problem electrostatics heat flow and then thermal and current flow problems so here to start with you are going to view the electrostatic problem and select the electrostatic problem and click okay now this is coming here so this is about this this is and just in the direction here so open the software so create a new project and then and then select electrostatic problem you'll get a screen with grid that's what is available here that's what is available here this is a screen with grid okay okay so this is a plain grid now we are going to simulate now we are going to simulate we are going to design the things so first of this we have to create a construct the model so so what we have to do is to create a model these are the steps first thing is click problem in the toolbar and in the once you click the problem definition and the problem definition there is a pop up menu will come a box will come in which you get a problem definition and from the problem definition you have to you should carry out these three things so that is you have to select the type of problem you have to select the units that is inches or in centimeters or millimeters whatever units you want to use it and then you have to see the depth length okay now you go go to this go to the software so this we use so here you see that is the thing so go to the problem so now this is the problem definition is popping up so here there are two types of types one is a planar type another one is an axisymmetric type so in the planar so here for uh, now in this for parallel capacitor we are going to choose the planar type and you can choose the type of whether whether the, whether the, the dimensions we are going to mention are inches or millimeters or centimeters what are this so we we'll keep it as inches you can keep the depth depth means for example if it is a cable means what is the length of the cable and that we call it as the depth here if the capacitance is what is the a bit of this parallel page that is a bit not the gap between the parallel page so we have the bit so that we call it as the then we keep the inches and sufficient gap okay now it is complete and we have to click ok now this part of problem i want to take and that will be smaller now coming to this Okay. Now next, click OK. Then we go to OK. Now we have to go for the model construction. 
So a parallel field capacitor is equal to a rectangular box. So what you have to do is you have to do a rectangular box. So these are the steps we have to do. These are the steps involved in drawing the rectangular point. You have to mark four nodal points or four important points at four corners of the rectangle and you have to connect all the four corners using the line tool from the line tool so you have four lines the top and the bottom line are considered as conductors and the space in between the bottom and top and bottom lines will be considered will be considered as an electric so now we come to this tool so here is the nodal point so i keep four nodes here here and here. now it's okay now I have to draw the lines. This is the line. Here, this is another conductor. Now I have to close it so I cannot open it. I have an open boundary to get the solution. So it's over. So the rectangular box is over. Okay. So in between space, you have to keep it as a dialectic. So this part is okay. And now coming to the screen. So the next part you have to do is. Okay. Let's look into the steps. Okay. So now we have to define the conductors. So we have we know that the top line is the conductor and the bottom line is the ground. But the software we have to feel it. We have to ask the ask simulation tool to consider which one is which one is connected and which one is going to be the ground. So what I have to do? So these are the steps. Just look into the steps and now we go to the software tool and I'll teach you here. So here coming to the software. So go to these properties. So here there are many things. So now you have to choose the conductor. So in the conductor add property. So we have to give the name as conductor. Hmm? Or you can give the conductor. And now what should be the feeling of conductor? What should be this voltage level? So you can keep the voltage level you want to add. So I keep it as under rules. I keep putting the standard rules. Now it is okay. Now the conductor is safe. So this is only for the top line. And now I have to add the ground. And ground is also a conductor. Click add property. And give the name as G and D, which means ground. And give the physical voltage as zero, since it is a ground. That's okay. Now the conductors are marked. Okay. Now click everything is fine. Again, go to the properties. Select boundary and add property so here you can have new boundary so we have to click mixer boundary so this is the second thing after defining the conductors you have to define the boundary this is okay now it is fine now the space in between we call it as the dielectric material how to choose the dielectrics so again go to the properties there is a materials library in the materials library we have more we have many numbers of dielectric materials so i want to choose air as a dielectric will bring it down you can keep mica as a dielectric will bring it here you can use nylon you can use paper you can use the low density polyethylene or high density polyethylene there are many materials which material you want to choose you have to bring it down so otherwise take it out okay that's all so now you have four five options you can choose any material which material you can choose the right material which you want to add it suppose we want to add a material which is not available which is not available in the library means you just click the materials now click add property so you make it as new material one and put your dielectrics value as 100 or, or whatever it is the value of the dielectric material dielectric constant of the given the new material you want to feed up so for example you have inventory new material for this the dielectric constant is around 100 and you can add it here like this you can choose the new materials here. and this is how you have to choose the new material so now so we have defined the conductors we have defined the boundary we have defined the uh, dielectric materials also so this is the thing so so the thing is so how to choose define the conductor so here are the steps you go to the property in the pop-up box type the conductor name Mention is prescribed voltage and say okay. And now again add property. Go to type 
select the type as the type it as a ground conductor and keep the voltage level of the ground conductor as zero. And now the connected definition is okay. And now go to the properties like library. So we have a list. We have a, a big list of materials available. And you choose the material you want to use. Drag it to the next box. It will be added to the thing. And if you want to add your own new material, new material, go again. Go to the properties. So in which click the materials. So again click add property. So that you have to type the name of the new material and its relative permittivity or dielectric constant otherwise called as dielectric constant so once it is defined click ok that's over ok and this is about the boundary again go to properties select boundary click add property type the name of the boundary as new boundary or my boundary or whatever name you like, you, you like to do you type your own name and select a type as next sub boundary so even once everything is defined click ok and come to the main screen so now okay everything is assigned everything is defined now now you have to assign the definitions to the diagram what you have drawn in the main screen okay now you have to assign it so what next okay coming to this one so now here I want to I, I need to assign this conductors select the line line so keep the mouse here, right click and then, then press the space bar, right click and then press the space bar. Now in conductor, here you see that in conductor. So here you mention it as ground, select this conductor and click OK. That's all. Again, coming to the bottom line, keep the mouse here, right click, press the space bar press the space bar and select it as ground and click ok fine now i have to define the space as directly what next so here is it, it mentioned that is the green button here this mentions the gauge select it now keep it here now keep the mouse here right click press the space bar and you need what type of blocks as he said they are micro nylon paper polyethylene or new material what are different so which material you want to fill in between the two plates that you have to choose that you have to choose now i am going to choose my own material like me okay click okay fine and so that the next one is where we have to mark the boundaries so click the line so keep the mouse at near the near the uh, side lines right click press space bar and select the boundary as new boundary what we have defined already and similarly for the right hand, right hand side also, keep the mouse near the line, right, right click, press a space and in the segment property choose new boundary and click OK. Now everything is defined. So what is you have to do, one thing is you simply forget to save the file. So the next video step is you have to save the file as my first, my first FEM FM project. This is my first, so I keep it here like this. Okay, now it is safe. So now everything is safe. So now you have to create the mess. Everything now the mess is formed. Once is the mess is formed, the problem is ready for simulation. Once again, you recall what you have studied. Once again, I recall it. Mm -hmm. So, how to assign? So draw the, select the line and click the mouse button, so keep the mouse point near the top line, right click, press space and then select it as a conductor. Again for the bottom line also. Similarly side lines, keep the mouse near, right click, space bar, press space and then select the boundary type for right side and left side lines. And similarly, keep, so you have to choose the emblem green, green, green symbol and green symbol and okay, place it near the in between the two conductors right click and select the type of materials and once everything is saved after saving click the mess tool to form the mess once mess is formed the simulation is ready to uh, sorry the, the diagram is now ready for simulation click the simulation tool 
Once simulation is over, you have to go for the analysis. You have to go for analysis. Let us see how it goes. So now the mass is formed. So here you see the simulation. That is a gear-like structure. So press it. Now the simulation is over. It's a very simple experiment. Also simulation runs within a fraction of a second. Now you can see there are two spectres that you this means that you are going to do uh, lenses. Using the lens, you are going to do the indent analysis. Press it. Oh, what? Oh, what a beauty. There are a lot of beautiful images coming. And this image shows how the paint distribution, how the potential distribution takes place in between the two conductors, conducting plates. So, this is a beautiful diagram, looks very colorful. And this is the diagram which we are doing, going, to, going to do our carryout analysis. What are the analysis we are going to do? So, here there is a node. So, there is a node. So, draw select the node and put nodes at between any two points where you want to do the analysis. After that, select the line tool and between the nodes you have drawn, draw the line. Anywhere you can, between here and here, here and here and here and here, any two places. Now the line is drawn. And there is a symbol called the, the, that points like a graph. Now select the graph. So see, this is other plot types. So here you can draw the plot that is voltage, magnetic flux density, so normal and tangential flux densities, electrical intensity, normal and tangential, everything you can draw here. Now I want to anything, whatever you want to draw, you can select. So I want to draw the voltage. So how many points and everything you can draw, okay. Okay, now click OK. Now so you got the graph. So from 100 to the last 10. How the voltage distribution is coming out. So that is a, a linear drop in voltage from the top bottom to the lower bottom. So we know that lower bottom, lower line, lower can lower line is the ground connector, conducting plate, and upper line is the conductor with 100 volts. This is how the voltage drops takes place. So similarly, for any kind of, so using this you can draw. So I want to draw F is the intensity between the two okay go select it now, so this is how the field intensity is there and this is how it looks you can do further analysis using this tools okay again so again select this one so now uh, if you put this capacitance like see how the v and c are voltage and charge are available you know the c is equal to q by v so you can easily found uh, the capacitance of this capacitance value of this construction what you have drawn okay and similarly this is about the energy so you can choose anything e and t and this will disturb this will look about the certain things what is happening in between the entire medium now you select this one the vectors what are the vector types you want to draw i want to draw electric field intensity what you draw it so see how the electric field lines are here and see this is click this and show Click show equipotential line, equipotential lines are there. So the horizontal lines are equipotential lines, and the vertical arrows point the field lines. So we know that the equipotential lines and the field lines in fact each other exactly at 90 degrees, and this is what the analysis you have to do. So these are some of the preliminary analysis you can do with that, and similarly, you can do many number of analysis. So you can have uh, you can have an analysis like Cable, so in which the center you have a conductor, there is a, a cable with insulation, and this is the analysis of it. And you can do a lot of simulations like this in other experiments. Then, in that, I will help you while you are doing the experiments. Okay, so these are the procedures. Now, one second, I recall on the simulation is carried out. Okay, so this we will see all this. Sorry. So, once the simulation, we have to the analysis too. So, choose the node buttons. So, between which two nodes you want to, two points you want to do the analysis, you have to decide. Between the two nodes, draw the line and use the graph tool and select the parameter you want to plot. So, again, using the arrow tool, you can draw the field lines. So, so these are the, some of the analysis what you can do it here. So, this is all about the FEA moment tool, what we are going to use it in our practices, in our Laboratories, okay. In our laboratory.
So for any queries and discussions, you can always immediately raise it in our class. I am ready to help you. Thank you.